In one breath, you're saying she abandoned her things. You're being sued here for personal property. I You've known it. this for a while. I have her beds. Okay, um, her two and beds? I, and I've asked her ex to come get them. Why would you ask her ex-husband? Because she keeps not coming, but, except for when we're not home. But you already knew how tumultuous it was between those two. Why would you ever invite him? Their relationship is not tumultuous. You're telling her she better hand over her son to the dad, which, of course, is none of your business. Everybody's concerned because of her drug use. We're all concerned for the child's well-being. Why did you take this on? What I see is you're not dealing with a kid. You're dealing with a grown woman. Things can get difficult when you're used to living on your own in independent life. And what I saw was that you kind of overstepped a couple times. Maybe in your fear that she's slipping, but I don't think you gave your friend the benefit of the doubt. What, what do you have? I know the two beds are still at our home. There's three beds. I have receipts for those. I never agreed or told them that I was gonna get it the next day. I do have the text message between Mr. Kugler and I of me coming to get my stuff of the TVs because I needed to pay for a motel room. Other than that, there's deep freeze, uh, TVs, beds, You toys. have a deep freeze? You do not. The only things that you have of hers are two beds is what you're saying. That's it? Yes, her daughter has the rest. And according to her daughter, she's still, she's tried to give them to her mom and it's the same thing that I've been dealing with. What I see is a text from you saying just you won't let anyone be nice to you. Yeah. I will just dispose of your That's what you say, ma'am. I asked her to come get it. Uh, no, you, you said the problem was she won't let anybody be nice to her. And really what she was asking you was, hey, can I come get my stuff yeah. peacefully? There's missing pieces. No, ma'am, what was missing was in your text messages, you conveniently left off the text where you said you were gonna dispose of her Why did you leave that out? Yeah, look I'm up looking. for a second. Ms. Kugler, um, Ms. Kugler, look up for a second. When did you give her an opportunity to get her stuff outside of the day after she left? Well, I called her and I called her and I called her. So you're her. saying they're all verbal. As she, much as y'all text, all of the invites to come and get her stuff were all conveniently verbal. Here's the problem. Some of this stuff is missing from these conversations because we were blocking each other back and forth. But what I don't see is your attempt after she has repeatedly texted you saying, I want to come get my things peacefully. Outside of that, I have nothing to say to you. You took that to be something that was purely offensive, I guess, because you then replied with, well, just you won't let anyone be nice to you. I don't understand how you're being nice to her at that point. I will just dispose of your I didn't dispose of, her daughter came and got it. So, Ms. Johnson, you provided some receipts. Mm -hmm. Here, exhibit F. Talk about this list that you prepared. When I got back to Wichita, there was no talking her into letting me have my stuff. So I had to do what I needed to do to get back to Wichita, get my son in school and get back to work. I got car payment bills. Um, so I went back, I got my old job back, stayed in a shelter for a few weeks and then got my old apartment back. How is your son? Traumatized. He's traumatized still. He's backslid. Is he in school? Yes. Okay. We're doing the best we can. Okay. So we're gonna excuse the parties while we deliberate in this matter. Thank you both very much. This courtroom is now in recess. Okay, so this whole thing was a disaster. God. And I think that the plaintiff predicted that this would probably happen. I don't doubt that Ms. Kugler meant well, but I think that she took on more of a mother role, more of the I know what's best for you in your life, as if she was a child. Yeah. And she's a grown woman with her own life. And she got overly involved, overstepped her bounds in the name of trying to care for a friend. It was too excessive. It didn't work. But she took all of this so personally. You don't listen to what I say. You're not taking my advice. Well, I'm going to do what I want to do with your things. And it just wasn't right. So give me your thoughts. Uh, my thoughts are in sync 100% with your thoughts. Yeah, I, I think the defendant's main claim was I tried over and over again to get her to come get her stuff, and then I really had no choice. And that's clearly not what happened from the text messages. And giving it to her daughter without her permission is not an acceptable way to handle things. Yeah. The receipts we have exceed, exceed $5,000 by a large amount. The, the proof is there, so. So we have a verdict. We have a verdict. A verdict. The plaintiff, $5,000. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>